Oh, hello there. What are you doing here? Are you here to raid my closet? Who let you in the house? Oh, mm. Did you ring the doorbell? No, you didn't because we don't have one. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Kim and I upload videos about Lolita fashion, other J fashion, cute stuff that I want to share with the world and my wedding planning process. I'm doing the wardrobe post. I'm doing the video. Finally, I'm only doing main pieces because who cares about blouses? Who cares about accessories? Who cares about, si okay, people might care, but um, main pieces is like the bread and butter of Lolita. So we're just gonna go over the main pieces in my wardrobe. This light seems like it's not that bright. That is better, okay. I'm like trying to play around with like lighting and sound and stuff. So y'all know if my wigs look stupid, it's cause they are. <laughs> If my light looks bad, it's because I'm trying to figure this out. And we're going to start with the dress I'm currently wearing, which is Lovely Bathroom by Angelic Pretty. If you have not seen the video I did on this, I reviewed this dress. Spoiler, there aren't very many cons. Um, this dress is mad comfortable. It is cute and it is fully shirred. Um, you can't go wrong with this dress. We have all of my cardigans and blouses over here and then main pieces right here and then some outerwear right here. Uh, which side do we want to start on? What, light side? Light side? Dark side. Light side? Dark side? We're gonna start with the dark side because this is a black household. First piece we have is from Baby and this is called the Logo Ribbon Kutsu OP. This is just a simple black Kutsu OP dress. I've been really digging Kutsu OPs because they're like really comfortable and there's not much to it. You can wear a light petticoat. They seem really good for travel. Um, this ribbon belt is falling down because gravity. It does come with this ribbon belt and this does come in a bunch of other colors. I would love this and like pink or navy or sax or whatever colors baby wants to give me i will probably take it um but this was just uh like to be my two inch cut through ops and i really like this so i haven't really worn it that much if at all you could change that once it's fall it's too hot it's too hot for sleeves it's just it's it's too hot i feel like it might be too bright just bump that down just a little bit a little better. I look so red. Y'all, why do I look so red? Also, excuse you. Come on now. Shut up, you ain't got nowhere to go. All right, we're gonna have to post, post do something with this color correction here, but. Okay, next up we have Girly Leopard by Angelic Pretty. This is uh, what I like to refer to as old lady at the parlor, okay? I get lots of like vintage vibes i'm like super over the word vibes right now but i don't really know how else to describe it this dress just reminds me of just like an old lady you know her name her name is betty betty has a parlor and betty you know she likes to put people in their place when they try to tell her that she is too wild for society right now bartholomew please pour me another glass of grandma yay grandma yay how do you say that word Please pour me another glass of Moet, please. That's what I get from this dress. I love it. I love the fur trim right here. This is faux fur, so don't think this is real. I don't think AP could afford to put real fur on these. Um, but the people on the street don't know that. You can walk around. Yes. Like, this is what this dress gives me. It's, it's, uh, it's a look. It's a look. I know a lot of, like, just in fashion in general, like, it was fun leopard print is like frowned upon for some reason i'm not about it i love it love in this dress dear celine magic book dress um this is in the green colorway because i apparently am a slytherin i swear i'm not that mean but um okay i'll take it um and i got this just as a part of a group order i really like this print i like the color i don't have much green in my wardrobe i like ops i love the collar i don't love the fact that i can't lift my arms higher than this that is a problem with this dress cupcake kamisama did a like an unboxing of this dress and she her assessment of it and her feedback about it was like pretty spot on i highly recommend checking out her video if you want to know more about this dress um i think i'm gonna need to get it altered if i want it to be more comfortable but like you could just this is where you at you could you can't vogue in this dress. It's not happening. Um, you can't reach stuff on the top shelf with this dress. That's not happening. Um, otherwise, it's pretty cute. Just, you know, some minor alterations. And this is a really good, like, classic dress. Or if you're doing, like, 
some sort of like scholarly themed meetup. This is perfect for that. Or a Harry Potter themed meetup. Next dress is another OP. This is from Innocent World. This, I don't know the name of this dress. Um, I haven't taken the time to go update or check Lilybrary in the past couple of months, but um, we're just gonna call this like lace collar tartan dress. It's an OP, it's long sleeve, it's tartan. It's just really good for the holidays. Um, these buttons is how you get in and out of the dress. So you got a button all the way down to get in and out. And then this collar is detachable right here. It looks a little weird if you don't have the collar on though. So um, you might have to wear a scarf with it because this neckline just looks really weird. Um, and this is the collar in the back of it, this nice um, rectangle collar. And I really like this dress for, like I said, the holidays. And this is another one you could do like, if you're doing like a scholarly themed meetup, it's really good for that. And then next up is my only other Innocent World dress, and this is the Chemical Lace Collar JSK in navy. This is just a really simple blue dress with this nice chiffon at the bottom, and it has these little sailor-esque kind of buttons. This collar is really nice detail, and then in the back, it's like a halter, so you can tie it in the back so you can really show off like sailor collared blouses that you have. I think it could go really nicely with that. And um, this bow right here is attachable. And um, I like Innocent World because they have M's and L sizes, which is not something you see very often from Japanese brands. Uh, but I was able to get both this dress and this dress and an L, so it's a lot more comfortable in the bust area. Next up is a Mulberry Chronicles dress. This is, once again, Portraits and the Royal Cats. And as you can see, there are cats. And there are portraits. And this is, I don't think Mulberry Chronicles, I don't think Kavya is making dresses anymore, which is unfortunate because I really like these dresses. They were very good for not just Lolita, but also like Atome and um, like just casual daily wear. Yeah, it's a little tight and it's got a back zipper, which is unfortunate because I can't, I can't do it. Next dress is Lucky Key by Angelic Pretty. This was a dress that was on my wish list for quite a while. Not in this particular colorway. This was the only one I could find at the time when I really, really wanted it. It is this mint, AP calls it mint. This is more like a muted teal, dusty teal color. Um, but the print's really cute. I've worn this dress on this channel before. It's got keys, it's got doors. Um, it's regal themed and I love regal themed prints. Um, it's got this like under bust here and it is fully shirred. It's lustrous. Ooh. Ooh. Next up is one of my, this is probably the most OTT dress I have, which is Dragon Tea by this time. This is from a Taobao shop. And if you have not seen my review video of this dress, go check it out. I have reviewed this dress and talked about some of the details, um, but this is just a, a very, a very extra dress. And if you're going to wear this, usually you're gonna step out and stunt with this dress. Um, I really like it. It's very heavy though. Like I'm getting an arm workout today. I think we're about halfway. No, we're about a third of the way through. Next dress is one of my most sentimental dresses, which is Melty Cream Donut by Angelic Pretty. That is because this dress was a Christmas gift from my fiance uh, two months into our relationship. He bought me Lolita. Yeah, that's, that's how I know you guys the one. This is in the Saks colorway, which looks kind of mint. Um, this color is only inferior to pink um, because the pink colorway is the best colorway. This is a very popular sweet print. I feel like at one point this was probably like a Lolita like royalty print before it got re-released. Um, if you're like a sweet Lolita, I would, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe that's just to me. Um, get back there. Uh, but yeah, I feel like if you're a sweet Lolita, you've seen this dress before and you've probably heard of this dress. I don't know what else you want me to say. Next up is Belle Epoch? Epicue? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm a terrible Lolita. Uh, but this is another sweet slash classic dress from Angelic Pretty. It's got this very beautiful print here. It's very, very like, I don't know. I think this is really best for like OTT 
sweet slash he may looks um but this dress is very cute it's kind of short it doesn't do well with tall lolitas because this bodice is very short which is fine for me but i have long legs um so it's kind of it can be a little scandalo in the back there is this really nice ruffle here which is my favorite part of the dress i love a good ruffle love a good buckle um so yeah really love this dress this is the only dress i have in lavender even though lavender is my favorite color is it even your favorite color if you don't have a closet full of your favorite color okay so next up is a dress that i do not know the name of because i did not add it to my wardrobe list even though i made a video about this and i don't practice what i preach sometimes um but this dress is from baby and it is this dress i will put the name on the screen somewhere if i can find it and it is in the pink colorway oh this looks kind of like brown i don't know i haven't worn it yet i bought it secondhand a couple months ago I had it for a really good deal and I don't know. I think it's really pretty. Next dress is, what is this called? Butterfly JSK by Angelic Pretty. This is a pretty like simple cotton dress. Um, this is an older dress by AP and you can tell it's older because one, it is cotton and two, it has a built-in petticoat and three, it has very limited shirt. So I do enjoy wearing this dress. Oh, look, another waist tie popped off. Look at that. Um, I bought this dress a while ago. I don't reach for it that often because the straps, it's, this is really hard to get over my bust. I need to extend the strap some, but I don't know. This is it. Next up is Lace OP by Lady Sloth. Um, I don't think this dress is in production anymore or she's offering this dress, but I really like this dress. It's in pink, but it's more like a nude color. Oh, look at this lace. Look at this. This is so nice. I love it so much. I love the neckline. It's really good for like a nice choker or like a delicate or like intricate necklace. It's really good for showing that off. It does have a little bit of cleavage action going on here though. So careful there, but very nice dress. Very nice construction, very nice quality. Um, if you're ever on the market for a custom dress or a dress that is very comfortable, you should check out Lady Sloth because she makes some bangers. Bangers! Next up is a dress. A dress that I bought when I had the flu. It could have been Corona. The doctor said it was the flu. I think it was Fluona. And it is Jewelry Jelly by Angelic Pretty in pink. I got this dress when I said I was gonna stop wearing sweet and stop buying pink. And I didn't because this dress popped up and I was like, I need it. I feel like also if you're like super into Sweet Lolita, you probably heard of Jewelry Jelly too. Um, I feel like this dress is hard to find in this color secondhand. Maybe not, I don't know, but I have been looking for a while and it was hard to find. By a while, I mean like at least six months. <laughs> so. It's this one. So next up is lovely. Oh gosh. AP and they're like calling things lovely. There's nothing lovely about this dress. This dress is a hot. This is a hot dress. Lovely check ribbon OP. I feel like in the past when AP's called stuff lovely check, it's been like a gingham print. This is pretty solid. I mean, it's, I don't know if I'd call this lovely because it's very like, hey. Get out of here. It's very casual. Um, this dress is very, very warm. This is one of those hoodie AP dresses that they did. And I love this dress. It is so comfortable. A light petticoat, some sneakers, and you're like, done. These pockets are here for decoration. You can get some mints in here and maybe a stick of gun, and that's about it. You're not getting anything else in these pockets. These are faux pockets. I saw this dress at Paradiso. Um, Princess Honey Bun is wearing this dress and I fell in love with it and I was like, oh, I need this. They've released this style of dress a couple of different times, um, but I, I love this dress. It's very, very comfortable, good for lounging around or like a casual day. Um, and because it is relatively all cotton, you can throw this in the washer and it's just fine. Although I'd argue that most dresses you can throw in the washer and you'll be just fine. But I hope you guys wash your dresses. This is a public service announcement. Wash your dresses, please. This dress was on my Lolita wish list for the longest time. Um, 
this i know everyone has like dream dresses but this was legitimately one of my first dream dresses if not my first dream dress and it is rose dress up by angelic pretty this was my original dream dress the first meetup i ever went to i saw this dress my friend nicole was wearing it and i thought it was such a beautiful elegant dress um and i had it on my wish list ever since then that was Three years, I had this dress on my wish list and then I found it in 20, 2019, I think, maybe, maybe late 2018. Um, and I just, I love this dress so much. It is so beautiful. It has got this like rose, like jacquard fabric. It's got this beautiful side bustle. Um, it's an under bust cut, so it's way more comfortable. It's incredibly roomy. Um, and it's got just this beautiful like lace all around and it's just a very 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 beautiful feminine dress i am looking for this dress in ivory as well as the bordeaux colorway so if you ever see any of those dresses please throw them to me i want them um this is one of my absolute favorite dresses ever um this is definitely a more formal dress uh that i don't get to wear very often but um yeah I love it so much. Next we have Cat's Tea Party by Angelic Pretty in the gray colorway and I, if I don't sound that thrilled about this dress, it's because I'm not thrilled about this dress. Like, this, is, this dress is an example of like, Lolita hype not living up to itself. I feel like there was so much, there's so, there was, not anymore, but there was so much hype around this dress and how it was like a status piece and how like, you know, very few people had it and how it's just like in an iconic print. And I do think it's an iconic print and dress, but like, it was just underwhelming to me. Um, maybe it's the color, maybe I'd feel better about it if it was in pink, but I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. I wouldn't say I like wasted money on this or I regret getting this dress at all. I just, I don't feel any type of way about it. And this isn't like, I just don't think it lived up to the hype. I'll probably end up selling it at some point. Um, just cause it's just, I don't know. I think if maybe this was a different color gray, I'd feel different about it. If it was like a lighter gray, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. If this came in like a lavender or an ivory, I would probably feel different about this, but I don't know. It's just like, it just didn't live up to the hype. Uh, a dress that did live up to the hype though. Let's talk about Antoinette decoration by Angelic Pretty. Let's talk about her. Uh, my middle name is Antoinette. So very rarely do I find a dress that's like, hey, it's got like elements of my full name in it. Um, this dress is absolutely stunning. It is a lovely textured fabric. It's got so many beautiful details on it. My light is so bright. I hope y'all can see it. And my nose is so shiny. I look like Rudolph. Um, but it's got cakes. It's got swans, it's got Florida leaves, it's got this beautiful lace at the bottom. Like this is an absolutely gorgeous dress. Um, this is in the ivory color. The mint color is also very nice as well. The pink color is kind of, eh, I don't know. Um, but I love, 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 love this print. Um, there were some special sets. There was a blue colorway that was also really nice. I think this is, I don't have multiple colorways of any dresses in my wardrobe. I've just never been that kind of person, but I think if I were, this would be a dress that I'd have multiple colorways in. Um, but yeah, she's hidden. She is hidden. I love this dress. Don't really get the opportunity to wear it very often because it is a bit more formal of a dress. Um, but she hits. While we're talking about dresses that live up to the hype, can we please talk about this $40 Taobao bread dress? Can we talk about this? This dress, I know a lot of people are like, ooh, Taobao, oh my God, I it. But for $40, you can't even get some dresses that are Forever 21 that are gonna rip in the washing machine after two washes for $40. But this dress, however, has taken quite a few beatings in the washing machine. And every single time I have worn this dress, I have been stopped by everybody and their mom to talk about how much they love this dress. Who doesn't love a dress with bread on it unless you're a celiac? Which, unfortunately, you could still have bread substitutes. They make gluten-free bread for celiacs. So who, who doesn't 
doesn't like dresses? Who doesn't like bread in this place? Who doesn't like bread? There's all different kinds of toast on here. My favorite is the bacon and egg toast because I love me some bacon and I love me some eggs. Um, there's marshmallow toast on here, which is like, oh, who eating that? Give it a chance, give it a chance. This dress lived up to the hype for $40. I don't even remember how much I paid for this dress. I'm, it was no more than $40, I'm pretty sure. Like, what do you want? And it's got this uh, belt here that says, morning in other languages, you have bonjour, good morning, good morgen. Like, I, you can iron this dress very easily, wash this dress very easily, fits a petticoat nicely, like, all right, give it up for the comfy towel bow dresses. Next up, we have Victorian Tassel by Angelic Pretty. This is one of my go-to dresses for the holidays because it's velvet. And when I think of the holidays, I think of like velvet. Like when else are you gonna wear velvet dresses except for in the colder months? And I have courted this dress, I don't know how many times during the holidays, but this is it. Um, I love the dress. Tassels are cute, it's velvet. You can put this in the washing machine. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't. I have tossed this in the washing machine several times on a delicate cycle in a bag with gentle detergent and she has come out just fine. The glitter is still popping. So yeah, um, this dress is also fully shirred, which I really love. And I love this dress. Next up, we have another ivory dress, which is, oh goodness gracious, who is, who is this dress? This dress is called Tool OP, and this is from Shegli. Shegli? And this is an older dress, and it is very, very comfy. It's got this nice tool and lace at the bottom, and um, it is, Got some shirring in the back, so it's very, very comfy. I really also really like this neckline here, which is really nice. So yeah, I really like this dress. Um, closet child find. Okay, we are nearing the end, friends. This is Baby Girl JSK from Baby, which this name makes no sense, but I will take that over something long and ridiculous that I can't pronounce. This is an ivory. This is another closet child find. Um, I had this dress like sort of just hanging out like in the back of my mind on my like mental wish list for quite a while when I first saw this dress when it came out I didn't get it because I was like eh. and then time went on and then I was like no I should have got that dress and then I saw it in Japan and the moment I saw it I snatched it up I also want this dress in the pink colorway I think it's very cute um, but this is just a simple ivory JSK with detachable bows. It's got this like dot fabric. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. There we go. And yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cute. Okay, and then guys, the last dress in my wardrobe is this moitié dress, the Juliet OP dress in white. It is very cute. This is in the short version. Uh, long dresses just aren't a thing for me. I don't like them. This dress has no elastic anywhere though. So if you are Pushing up against those measurements, I would not push your luck. Um, I struggle with the arms because there, there's no elastic and it's very tight on my arms. And I'm not even that swole though. Like, this is a little, I don't know, but I might see if I can, I don't know, do some elastic or something in the arms. But um, yeah, I really like this dress. I wore it in my Life as a Black Lolita video, the first one I did. And really, really super cute, really good for like Shiro Goth. Um, or just like a casual, casual little outing, little day. <sighs> okay, so those were all my main pieces and then we'll go on to the skirts. I only have two skirts. I'm not a skirt kind of girl, just because I like to be one and done. Um, but this is Neon Star Diner by Angelic Pretty. I wore this in one of my previous videos. I really love this skirt. I also did a review on this skirt as well. So if you're interested in hearing about it, um, please go check that out. I did not actually wear that skirt yet when I reviewed that skirt um, in that video. And I will say this skirt's kind of tight. Oh, it's tied up on the waist. You can always unzip it a little bit and hide the fact that it's unzipped or you can hike it up on your waist and then it's up here and then you look like Steve Urkel. But yeah, uh, it's, it's, even though it's got elastic, it's still pretty tight. So uh, yeah, but I, this, this print is popping. 
This print is popping. All right, and then last but not least, I have this skirt from Baby the Star Shine Bright. It is called Beautiful Splendid Queen Portrait, and that is because it is beautiful and splendid, and there is a queen on here somewhere. Where is she? Yeah, she's right there. There's a queen in the print. And this color is very interesting. It's got pinks and blues, but it, this, this color, it's like a buttercream, like yellow color. So it is a very interesting color. It's not ivory, so it makes it a little challenging to cord. But uh, my friend gave me this skirt. We're not gonna say no to free 99, no. Um, I love this skirt for, it's fully shirred, first of all. Can we talk about the fact that it's fully shirred? Um, I don't, I need more brands to make fully shirred skirts. I really do. Fully shirred dresses and fully shirred skirts. I'll probably be busting this out a little bit more this summer just because it is very comfortable and kind of casual and I can get away with, you know, running little errands with it if I need to while still looking funky, fresh, and cute. Okay, y'all, that was my wardrobe tour of just my main pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a really good idea of the styles of dresses in my wardrobe. As you can see, there is not really any consistency or theme to my wardrobe at all. It is all over the place. Yeah, it is very intentional that there is no theme or no specific color palette to my closet because if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. And if I have a dress for every occasion, I will always be ready and I won't have to buy another dress for the sake of buying something. I don't, I am past that stage where I need to buy things because it needs to fit a certain theme. So I try to work within the confines of my wardrobe as much as possible. And I'm trying to accessorize more with my leg wear and my blouses and cardigans more so than the main piece. So yeah, if you have any questions about any of the items in my wardrobe, please leave a comment and let me know or if you'd like to see any specific reviews of any of these items, I would be happy to do that. I have passed a thousand subscribers, which is really wild. Thanks guys. Uh, wasn't expecting that at all. Thank you guys so much for all of your feedback that you've been leaving about the types of videos I've been doing, the audio quality of the videos, and things that you guys would like to see in the videos. I realize that I talk a lot about Lolita, but I don't insert pictures of me wearing the dresses to give you guys styling ideas, even though sometimes my styling is not something that I think people should mimic because I just throw it on half the time. But I appreciate that feedback because that is going to make sure that I give you guys better videos that you guys are getting useful information from. So I really appreciate all the feedback. If you ever have any feedback, please don't be afraid to leave it. So long as you're not just being like, hey, why are you so ugly? Cause I got one of those comments. Someone was like, why are you so ugly? Really? You better step up off this channel, sir. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.